Welcome back to the Healthy Lock Show. I'm your Locks therapist, and today I want to talk to y'all about some things I've been thinking about during the break. Uh, what I have noticed is a lot of subscribers actually don't have locks on the Healthy Locks channel, uh, but they are natural, uh, which leads me to see that this movement is not about hair. It's really about self. It's about how we feel about ourselves, our self-esteem, our self-worth, and those things. Um, but there's also something called hair esteem, and that's really how you feel about your hair. And they kind of go hand in hand. They're in alignment with each other. If you're feeling good about yourself, then you must feel good about your hair as well. But right now, I want to discuss change. Uh, change is something that we all go through, and change is something that also your hair go through. Um, there's five stages to change. And the first stage is pre-contemplation. Now, pre-contemplation is really about self-doubt. It's about doubting yourself or doubting that you will be able to change the process of your hair. Whether it's going from short hair to uh, your natural state, whether it's going from uh, short hair to locks, or long hair to short hair, or whatever you're doing, whatever you're changing up, you really go through the pre-contemplation phase, but you're not really sure, or you're not really confident about that change. Um, the, self, the second step in the change process is called contemplation. And this stage is when you're really saying, okay, I'm more confident with what I'm gonna do. Um, you're talking about it with your friends, you're on the blog sites, you're watching YouTube videos, and you're also probably discussing it with your spouse. And on a side note, for the fellas out here, if you have a woman that's going through that change of she wants to change her hair, no matter what it is, I would suggest you support her because we have to support our sisters on that change because there's a lot of change. It's a thinking process and it's a mental process that the person has to go through, whether it's locks or natural hair. And that's the contemplation phase, all right? Now the next stage is the preparation. Now you're preparing for the change. You're really more deep into it, okay? You're looking at, okay, when am I gonna get this done? You have a date lined up. A lot of times those dates may be uh, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, seasons. You might say, look, uh, next season I'm gonna change my hair in the spring or summer. So you're preparing for that change and you're feeling more and more confident as you move along that this is where I'm gonna go. This is how much it costs. Uh, this is how I have to get my hair done, what the technique is going to be, and so on. And this is all for whether it's locks or natural hair. And the next phase of change is the action. And that's pretty simple. You're getting it done. The last phase is the maintenance. The maintenance is what is it going to cost you to maintain what your natural state is, whether it's um, the products you use, how often you go, um, eating the right things, drinking the right, drinking uh, enough water. And so the tricky part about the change is this. If you have natural hair or if you have locks and you have a 10 year span, you've had natural hair for 10 years or five years, what happens is through life you go through changes within ourselves and within our personal lives and your hair is affected by that change. So sometimes you may realize, hold up, I have breakage, I have a little damage, my hair's not growing, and so what happens, you have to go from the maintenance part of that back to the contemplation. It's almost like a relapse. You gotta kinda go back to, your thinking has to kinda go back to recharge itself and look at, okay, I'm contemplating, okay, what's going wrong? Do I need to change my stylist? Should I change the products being used? And then you go back from the contemplation to that preparation to the action, and then you back to the maintenance part. So depend, no matter how long you have hair, you're gonna go through these steps. So I just wanna let you know that it's okay. You know, I, I've go, I go through those same uh, changes and um, you know, it's pretty common. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Healthy Lock Show season two. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at Locks Therapist and on Facebook at Healthy Locks 101. See y'all next time.